I decided to do a story time about the time where I lost like $25,000 on Forex. And if you're not familiar with Forex, I don't know much about it, which is why I lost so much money. I, I can't, like, I guess I can give you like a brief explanation of how I, I know it works. But you should, like, I don't even recommend that you go into none of that unless you're like super educated on how the, you know, candlesticks work and the graphs and all that stuff. So... <clears throat> I my aunt introduced me to forex back in 2019 and at the time I was maybe 20 20 years old 21 I think I was about to turn 21 so I didn't need money I didn't have any debt and I was getting really good money and I didn't have any like bills so I had extra money for what, whatever I wanted and when she told me about this I was like oh well that sounds interesting like I can double my money easy and yeah like you the way forex works it's like contracts that you buy and it's basically a yes or no question it gives you like a price and it asks you like do you think the US dollar is gonna expire like above one dollar and thirty cents or like under a dollar and thirty cents and it's just like a yes or no question so it's a 50 50 percent chance that you either lose or win she kind of gave me the rundown of how it works and I thought I had it like I thought I was an expert at the time. So I'm like, oh, well, that's easy. Like, it's easy to read the the, the graphs and it kind of tells you, like, where it's going to go. But no, you have to be, like, really good at that. Like, you have to be a professional at reading graphs. Otherwise, like, you can lose your money and it's not a good feeling. Trust me. I remember the, like, when she told me about all of this, it was interesting. And I'm like, well, I, I think I can, like, I can do it. So I put in $100 and... I was just playing with it like just back and forth and I would lose the 50 and then I would make 25 and it was just like very it would fluctuate a lot but I wasn't making money or I wasn't losing money so it was just in between two so it wasn't bad and then finally like I lost the hundred dollars and I left it at that I didn't catch my attention for like a very long time so I waited a good three months and then I remember I got money and I was like, maybe if I invest like 250, maybe I can like double it. And I was just doing it for fun. So I input, I think I, I deposited 250 into my account. And I was just playing with it and having like a good time. And I wasn't really taking it serious, like to make thousands and stuff. So I was just playing with it and I made money. But then at the end, I lost the 250. So then at that point, I felt like I was already getting addicted because it was so easy to make money. And yeah, like I did make 100, but I lost it all together with the money that I had. Again, I left it alone for like two weeks and then my boyfriend got paid, my baby's dad. He got paid. He was living, I mean, we were living in Chico at that time and I was in school. So I was getting money from financial aid too. But during that time, I hadn't got my check for financial aid. So I remember he got paid and it was like a good 1700 And I kid you not, at that point, I was already kind of addicted to it and I wanted my $250 back. Which, you know, if I think of it now, I should have just left it at that because I lost a lot of money. I got his check. He was giving me his checks at the time. And it was the easiest thing to just go in there. And I was like, well, maybe if I deposit 700 I can make it all back. Like, I can get my 250 back and then I'll just return whatever he, from his checks. And, um, yeah, I, I did that. So I deposited his money into my Binance account. I'm sorry, my Natix account. And... I lost his $700 and I cried so much that day. I was, I felt so guilty. Like he had, he was making this money. Like he was earning it like really, really hard at work. It was just a bad time. So I lost his $700 and I, I, I had another thousand that were also his from his check. And I was like, well, now I need to get my 250 plus his $700 back. And I deposited those last thousand dollars that I had in there. And guess what happened to those $1,000? I lost them too. So I cried so much and I didn't know how to tell them. Like I had to pay the rent. I had to pay our, um, like just our utility bills and stuff. Cause we didn't have debt at the time. And I cried so much that day. I remember like I was super depressed. So I asked, I think I asked my sister for like $200 and she deposited them. In, like she sent it to me on, through um, Zal. And he was going to work like that day, like the day after I lost his money. I don't know why we were arguing, but I hadn't told him about the money. So he gave me a ride to um, Wells Fargo because I had to take out money to give him gas, like for his car. 
she was gonna go pump gas so i had to give him 100 so i kept 150 i think she gave i can't remember how much she gave me but long story short i kept 150 and i gave him 100 to put gas i'm like fuck like i i don't know what i'm gonna do like i just have 150 dollars left like either i keep them for an emergency or whatever or something to pay like just at least one bill because i had lost a thousand seven hundred from this check like his entire check i lost it and i'm like i don't know if i should keep the 150 or if i should risk it and maybe i can multiply it so i'm like fuck it like i'm just gonna go for it and i'm just gonna buy contracts and i'm gonna go in there again and see if i can like double it or make his money back so i remember that whole night i was just back and forth playing with the 150 and i was like buying contracts selling and stuff and it would fluctuate up and down and it wasn't really doing much and then i remember i went to buy chinese food so i came home and i was eating kind of express and i was watching daddy daycare i think it was i think it was that movie and i was just watching the movie and it was funny so i was like watching it entertained and i was at the same time i'm buying contracts i wasn't paying much attention to the contracts that i was buying and i kid you not I made with the hundred and fifty dollars. I made five thousand, and I remember that. Fuck! I wish I had the videos. Like I wish I had the um, like just so I can show you how guys receipts because I know that it sounds really stupid and you guys not might might not believe me, but I promise you, like I made five thousand dollars on binaries with one fifty. Like it was insane, and it wasn't. I think in a good thirty minutes, I made this money like like this. It was like fast. So. I, I remember that year in 2019, we were gonna go to Paris in July. So it was January when I was doing the contract stuff. And in July, we were gonna take a t trip to, to Paris. So I made all the money I wanted to take to have for spending and just stuff, like just for a trip. And I'm like, oh shit, like I, it was out of nowhere. So I'm like, what the fuck? Like I had like five, like a little over $5,000 and I could not believe it. Like I got his money back. I got my 250 and I made money. I got up and I got my phone. Like I was like, I was shaky, like pretend this is my phone. Like I had my phone and I'm like, what the, like I couldn't believe it. So I got up and I accidentally bought, I don't even know how many contracts. I bought $5,000 worth. Every single dollar that I had in my account I used it to buy contracts and this was by accident like I didn't mean to buy the contracts but I bought them and I was like a hundred percent sure like when I saw that I bought all these contracts and when I saw what I had bid it on I was like fuck like for sure I'm gonna lose this money and I, and I, I panicked so it was five minute buying um five minute I think the duration was five minutes and it was all kinds of con like I don't even know how many contracts I bought so I had five minutes until the contracts expired and in those five minutes, either I lost my money or I made money. And I was sure that I was gonna lose my money because of the how, like the contract, like what I bid it on. And I panicked, so at two minutes, like the way this works, it gives you the option to like surrender, like to, yeah, like surrender, surrender and you, you, you take a loss. Like it can be a 60, 25, 40, 45, or 20, 10% loss instead of losing all your money. So I think I, at like that day, um, in this specific contract, I lost, I took a 50% loss because I was 100% sure that I was going to lose all my money in, on these contracts. So I was like, fuck, like when I saw, like when I surrendered and I, because I, I panicked, I surrendered and I sold my contracts for less. I still watched the, the contracts expire and they were going to expire on my favor so that I would have meant that I would have made another $3,000. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like I lost money thinking I was gonna lose like these contracts, but they actually, they were gonna like, they were gonna favor me. I was gonna make more money. So I was so mad. I, I like, I still remember that feeling. I was so upset. Like I cried so much. I, I still remember like how upset I was at, at, during that time. And I'm like, damn, like with 150, I made all this money and I just lost it. So then that got me really hooked and i remember at, at that time i got a check for like nine thousand from my financial aid and i used every single dollar to invest in um in natix to to get my five thousand dollars back and like all the money like the money that i had previously lost before you know like prior to like to that point like all the money that i've lost that i had lost plus the five thousand that I felt like we're mine already. I went in there and I I, I deposited nine thousand 
700 and some dollars can't remember but it was almost 10 ten thousand dollars i was bidding like i was buying selling buying and selling buying and, selling, and i slowly watched my my balance like decrease like little by little it was decreasing it was decreasing 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 and i'm like shit like now i'm losing more money like i i'm not even i'm not getting back what i lost and now i'm losing what i have so like i was so upset and i remember like i was like i'm not i didn't want to give up so i continued and i continued until finally i lost every single dollar i had so there goes all my money like the five thousand that i had made all the money that i had lost his money from his checks all of my financial aid check and i was like literally no money i had no money left i asked my aunt for money borrowed and she let me borrow two thousand and i continued like i i put that money in there too and i lost it too and i did this i think i asked my aunt for money yeah well i asked her for money i asked my sister and then I got another check for financial aid. I, I, I inputted a lot of money into my account and I lost every single dollar. So then three, three months later, when it was our time to go to Paris, like my trip was paid for, I don't know how the hell I did it, but he, well, he basically paid for it. So then I got another check from financial aid and I, I started to buy contracts again. And I'm like, okay, this time I'm going to take it very easily. I'm not going to rush. I'm just going to take it very slowly and I'm not going to become addicted well i did become addicted to that shit too so like even though i had three months without buying any contracts or doing nothing with nadex like as soon as i put the money into my nadex account like the, the adrenaline hit again and i felt the feeling of when i had made five thousand dollars and i thought i could like you know double my money again i did i think i, I made like two thousand but that wasn't enough for me because i had already lost a lot of money i took out the 2k and it was good for like i, I think two months I was good. I was making like a hundred dollars here and there and 50. So I wasn't losing money. I was making money, but it was very, very steady. Like it wasn't like exaggerated money, but I was, I wasn't losing money, which was good. But to me in my head, I'm like, I'm just recovering what I have already lost. And I, that wasn't enough. So at this point I feel like I was gambling and there was, there was like no way for me to get out of it. Cause I was like, I need all my money back. Like, I don't care about making any money. I just want every single dollar that I've lost so i i I did that for like a a good year, and it got to a point where I just started losing money and money like like all kinds of money i was just, I was putting in every single dollar that I was getting because I wanted to make back everything that I had already lost so with time, I was losing money, and even though I would make like fifty and twenty five here and there, I wasn't really like my account wasn't positive it was negative because i was still recovering every single dollar that i was losing so i really wasn't making money i was just getting back what i had already lost it went from i think october no not october what was it maybe like i i think 2020 february ish like around those that time i got another check for financial aid and this was my last straw i was like this is all the money i have left at this point like i had lost i don't even know how much freaking money like i looked back at my notes and i was taking notes of how much i was inputting and how much i was losing and it was a good 30 like 32 from 25 to like 32 came um dollars that i had lost like throughout my entire um trajectory of like investing in nadex so my last draw was my last financial aid check from 2020 in i think february is when i got my my last big check i inputted that money and that was before covid started so i'm like okay this is the last draw like this is all the money i have left and i remember this was during the time that covid was like barely starting to hit and the country was going to shut down and all this shit was going to happen so I kind of panicked, and, but I wanted my money back. I just, I didn't want to lose that money, but I knew that I was going to need this money in case of an emergency. I went in there and I bought contracts. I bid it on, I did the 20 minute um, contracts of five minutes. I think that they have like two hours or three or 24 hour contracts. And yeah, like I lost all that money too. It's like, I'm not even exaggerating. This sounds really ridiculous, but I'm going to find my transactions from Natix and I'm going to show you guys like, how much money i was inputting like it was a lot it got to the point where i was like in debt i owed people i owed credit cards i had no money and i was just like a broke ass bitch like now i really was a broke um college student at the time like at the beginning i wasn't but now like towards the end I, I was every single dollar that i was getting i was putting it in in this account thinking that i was gonna get my money back and my family has a history of like gambling addiction 
and when i told my mom how much money i had lost like there, there was this one time and i think this was like the last time that i had bid it on like buying contracts in one like i promise you i kid you not i'm not even lying like the most i lost in um like the feminine binary contracts i think it was like eight thousand dollars like in one day like in five minutes i lost like eight thousand dollars and it sounds insane now that i'm speaking it like out loud because nobody knows about this except my mom like it's insane like i'm talking about thousands like it was nothing and at the time i'm like how the hell was i so stupid that i just got all this money and i was just throwing it away like i was just burning it i did the contracts and i remember like it was i don't even know what time it like what month it was but i had money in there and like a, a substantial amount of money i was good like i like although i hadn't rec recuperate I hadn't got back all the money that I had lost. I was like at a, a point where I felt like I was even, like I didn't lose that much, but I didn't have all the money that I had lost basically. So I think like on Fridays, they closed the binary. So they opened up again until Sunday. So right now it's past three for sure. It's Sunday today. So it's past three right now. The binary is like, they just opened up and you can go in there and buy contracts. I remember on fr it was a Friday and it was about to be 1 p.m. And at 1 p.m., I think it's Pacific Standard Time, they, they, the bin binary is closed. So five minutes before they closed, I bought a contract and it, it, it ended on my favor. So I made like 2300 But then like the last contract, like the last five minutes that I had, it was 12.55 p.m. I vividly remember this. It was 12 55 p.m there was one last contract that was gonna expire before like you know sunday so it was the last contract for friday before they closed the um binaries i went in there and i'm like well maybe if i buy like you know four thousand i think it or five thousand it was like five five thousand i'm like maybe if i buy five thousand of contracts like this one looks really good it's the last one but i'm sure that i'm gonna you know make money so i kid you know i went in there and i bought the contracts for like five thousand and it was on my favor like at the beginning like the first three minutes it was in my favor and it just backed up i said it was going to be on top of like the price range that they gave me for the us dollar and i said it was going to end above and yeah like the first three minutes it was up there like it was just like skyrocketing like super like it was just like it went up like really like exaggerated so i was like fuck i'm like and i was like shaky like i was like let the adrenaline hit, hit, like kicked in and i'm like oh my god like i'm gonna make like i don't know i was like it wasn't like a crazy amount of money it was like 2000 something that i was gonna get back and i was like trembling i was like oh my god like i was all excited and i was like fuck and i was watching the contract like it was at one minute and then it was slowly getting to like the last second like 59 seconds 58 57 so when i remember when it was at one minute and 30 seconds i saw the um like the price range it was like going down little by little and then all of a sudden like it spiked down like super bad like it just like it, it, it like it just it, it went from like 99 to like 45 like that like super quick and i was like fuck like i had i want to say 40 like 43 seconds left and it was still up there but it slowly started to go down slowly slowly and, it, and then i was like at 20 seconds and it was still up but it was very close to being under the the price range i slowly watched this freaking grab and then when it's at 20 seconds like i said you can't like you can sell your contracts to lose a percentage like you surrender you don't lose all your amount of money but you do lose a big chunk and because the the contract was about to expire i think that i had i was gonna lose like 80 percent of what i am i had invested as opposed to losing 100 percent. but like at those last 20 seconds i remember i was like well i can't do nothing no more because either like i i wait for this i take my last chance and i either let it spike back up or i just my last 20 seconds i'm gonna lose all my money or i get out and i lose 80 percent. so i didn't know what to do so i stayed in the contract and then past the 15 seconds like you can no longer do anything either it, it stays up or it, it goes down and at 15 seconds it went under like it went under what i bid it on and my bid was that it was going to be over and it went under those last 15 seconds and i was like just 15 seconds if it would have stayed up 15 seconds i would have made my 2000 something but the last seconds of those contracts it it, it went below so 
I lost all my money. Like I lost all the money in this last contract. And now like I'm like the adrenaline had hit in. I was, I lost my money. I was all shaky. I was super mad. And now I had to wait until Sunday to bid again to try and get my money back. And it was the worst weekend of my life. Like I was so depressed. I was so mad. And when like when Sunday came around, I tried to get my money back and I lost all that money too. So it was bad. Like it was horrible. Like 2019 and towards the beginning of 2020, like it was just horrible financially for me. Like investing like financially wise with my investments it was bad like it was just horrible i i don't even recommend it like to be honest unless you're a professional then you know how it works but i was just like a stupid freaking college kid who thought I was gonna make good money on there and yeah you can make great money but at the same time it's very risky so i don't recommend it again unless you're an expert or do your research if you become like if you want to then that's up to you but I'm not even going to advertise this shit. Like, I do not recommend it at all. Especially if you need whatever you have. Like, don't. If it's, like, your life savings, do not put your money in, in a forex. Like, now I wasn't even investing. It was, it was more like I was gambling my money. And I didn't like that. So, as hard as it was, I had to stop. And I did get a little bit more money from my scholarship. But I was like, I'm not going to do this anymore. Like, I don't want to, like, lose any more money. I've already lost a lot of money. And I promise you, like, I put this on anything that I'm aligned to. Like, I lost several thousands in 2019. And it was just horrible. And to this day, I think if I wouldn't have invested my money, invested my money in Natix, I could have just bought crypto coins and I would have been a millionaire, millionaire right now. So, yeah, it was a really bad time. And I don't recommend it at all. But i just wanted to share this story with you guys if i find my screenshots i'll leave them towards the end of the video that way you guys don't have to like i don't i don't pause throughout the video and i'll just leave it towards the end i don't think i can get like a transaction or a history list of 2019 because it's been a good five years from natix so i think i can go back on my um statement and maybe i can get my amount and the the amounts that i was depositing into natix don't invest your money in stupid shit unless you do your research and you know you're like 100 percent sure about what you're gonna do then don't uh that's just my advice but to each their own i just wanted to share the story with you guys i'm gonna cut it short because it's already at 23 minutes so i don't want to make this a lot longer i have to go get my clothes from the laundromat and i gotta wake my baby up because she's taking a nap i'm sure you guys can hear her white noise she's asleep in the other room so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my video and don't be like me and don't lose your your money don't just just save it do something else with it but i hope you guys enjoyed my video and i will see you guys on my next video bye